Hello everyone. So yeah, sorry about the uh, little delay here. As you can see, we're in the middle of uh, coloring my beautiful model here, and really kind of by doing a bit more of like a nice bit of a change, um, especially working with you know uh, the density of her hair. And you'll see I'll be working with a strong line or one length first, and then I'll be adding some graduation to it. So just gonna before I get started, um, I'm just gonna just wait a few moments and also just do a little, a little housekeeping. So uh, we have my lovely Jennifer. So uh, she also helped me color this beautiful color here as well. So we did uh, we did a lot of work <laughs> in the last few hours. So but she's also gonna be our lovely camera lady. So she's also gonna be able to answer any questions you might have. Uh, actually, so if you have questions, she'll scream them out to me. So then I'll be able to hopefully answer your questions. So I uh, really want to make this kind of like a very fun tutorial, so very informative, especially for was it bank holiday weekend. And uh, yeah, so let's let's have some fun. All right. So uh, so Jen, just let me know when people are starting to watch. And yes. Then There's I'll about twenty people watching. Okay, perfect. Thomas saying hi. Hello, Thomas. You're right. Okay, so I'm going to be working with this first, uh, working with the overall length. So this will be uh, definitely coming much shorter. So now I'm, uh, the way I'm doing it, I really just want to keep a very strong feeling of the overall perimeter shape. So I need to cut. Now, the hair on the ends was quite bleached in a way, so we wanted to really for the uh, density and the condition of the hair, we wanted to really kind of like make the hair feel better and healthier and stronger. So during the communication um, with your guests, you know, really kind of explain that, you know, uh, what you're like to choose to do uh, for the benefits of the hair itself, and also, you know, really kind of like give like almost like, you know, you really want to like fulfill your guest's imagination, you know. So I really kind of like describe where you want to sit, you know, what you're trying to achieve with the hair, with your haircut itself. And it's the same thing for the hair coloring as well. Um, so of course we chose a nice, beautiful, I'm calling it smart uh, blue. Uh, so. You know, we could come up with some other names for it. Which you're not going to say. <laughs> yeah, I think the Smurf Blue is more appropriate. <laughs> yes. so. But yeah, guys, so you know, if you'd like me to continue doing these uh, live video tutorials, please let me know. Uh, we will be now, we are, we'll be opening, we're getting our keys to our new academy in Edinburgh, Scotland, um, June 1st. So we're getting keys then, and also we're very excited because uh, we're going to have our own separate barbershop, hair salon, and also new academy. So it's 2,600 square feet. It's absolutely humongous. So we're going to be starting our new courses, which I'm going to be talking about in a little bit. So now I'm going to be taking diagonal sections here. So the reason why is that really, they're going to be horizontal diagonal. So I really just want to kind of keep, you know, going to a slight, slight um, triangle shape. Now the triangle shape will be going from shorter in the back to longer in the front. So we'll be pushing this down, pressing down. See, I'm going to be holding it within my comb. Make a sense. I'm really trying to give it the more depth to the hair. And that's like one of the key important factors I'm doing here. So really trying to create a bit more depth. And you know, really just want to really work with the texture of the hair, the density of the hair. Now, um, in its more natural state, it's a bit more curlier than this. So you can see that we actually had to pre-lighten the hair. In layman's terms, and we 
we had a duty to the hair, because the roots were, <laughs> I'm sorry, they were massive. So we actually had to do a platinum card. It wasn't a root anymore. It, it wasn't a root anymore, I'll be honest with you. It was no longer a root. So, um, so we actually had to do a platinum card technique, both myself and Jen. Uh, what that means is we had to do uh, back to back slices throughout the whole head. Um, we will be doing a video on our coloring technique as well, and you'll see that um, you'll see the way we had to do it. So, and we use Mood White Bleach, um, which is a powder, and we use that with six percent. And we also use a Link D strengthening balm with it as well. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, we also used um, a product called Amino 18, which is you spray it on before you do any coloring. And what happens is you spray it on before, and then you wait four minutes, and then you can proceed. So it's a great, it helps repair the hair, especially in prep it before the coloring service and it absolutely does wonders. So you can now see the type of shape I'm creating. So still keeping, like I'm not doing a severe shape or a triangle shape, I'm doing very natural. So really kind of just like letting that sit. So it's still, in a way, still gonna be a little bit on the longer side as well. So any questions so far, Jen? Anything you else have you um, Simon Evans, he's saying hello Sid, I hope you're good, my friend. Oh, well, hello Simon Evans. Great to hear from you, buddy. And um, Claire uh, asking, have you still got the Academy in Nottingham? No, unfortunately we closed the Academy in Nottingham. Uh, I believe it was at the end of April because we're moving everything up to Edinburgh, Scotland officially. So for myself, I had many reasons why I wanted to move uh, the business up here. Uh, well, the main reason, of course, is the love of Jennifer who's filming. She, uh, she uh, stole my heart and, of course, you know, uh, I decided to move up to beautiful Edinburgh, Scotland. And to be honest with you, it's absolutely amazing here. And I, I've been living here for almost three years, and I absolutely love it. So we decided with, with myself and my new business partner, his name is Jordan Alexander, and uh, we will be combining forces and having uh, a beautiful hair salon, plus academy, and plus a new barbershop as well. So. And um, Katrina Thompson saying hi. Hello, Katrina. Great to hear from you. So, yes, Katrina. So, yeah, we, we will be opening up our MBQ courses at our new academy. So, we'll be more private for our MBQ courses. While um, uh, Katrina is one of the top, um, uh, well, if you want to, I like to call it headmasters, uh, the ones that are in charge of the tutors. Uh, and that's at the Bishop Auckland College where you know she takes the learners through uh, to their amazing journey through with her love of and passion of hair so it's great to see Katrina Thompson here can you turn her a little bit like before thank you so yeah so I'm just using now I'm using my wings scissors now they're the tiger version they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, Jen has not been allowed to use these, which for a reason, because these are my bad boys, and I just got them. And I got these from Your Scissors, and they're absolutely amazing. It reminds me, especially during my days at Vidal Sassoon, where, you know, everyone used wings, you know, because the cobalt steel, the size, the durability, so absolutely amazing, so. I will steal them. You will not touch them. <laughs> so. I even ordered a five inch pair as well. Oh, yeah, so. wow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be starting going through this way now. So, taking a diagonal section. Now, my sections are maybe just a touch bigger. The reason why is when dealing with the density of the hair and also kind of to be able to control it more. Now, I want to make sure my sections are complete and perfect. Because what happens is, you know, it's like the sections, the white lines in the scalp, are like the, uh, like the white line in the middle of the street. It's like a road map within your haircut. So it tells you where to go. So hence why we are doing, um, I'm doing, trying to get really perfect sections. So when I'm doing my cutting, Now, we will be 
talking about the new product set or the new packaging. Um, so just to let you know, throughout the haircut, I've been spraying yeah, the Mood Daily Care Leave-In Conditioner, which is absolutely amazing. But they did the new packaging, which is absolutely spot on. So maybe I chose to use the blue color. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so maybe there might be a little clinky gate. So this I like to spray throughout the hair during my haircut, so it's almost like a cutting motion. So I spray it because it's very lightweight. It's not going to be like a buildup, um, or like it's going to be like kind of coming out inside the comb. And it's an amazing product, and I love the new packaging uh, because especially with the labels, I feel like it, it gives the product a little more grip the bottle. So I absolutely love that. So Jan, now these, now just to show you, these are just a few of the products. Well, I, I didn't have enough countertop to put all the products up, but these are just a few. So these are the backwash sizes, and of course this is the retail, and of course we also have the intentional hair mask, which is one of the number one products from Move, and of course I'll be using tonight the Ultra Care Restorative Mousse, which, so, which is a beautiful leave-in treatment that will help strengthen and also control the hair. So I think the packaging is looking really good. What do you think, Jen? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. It's nice, nice and clean and nice, clean, clean. tidy. Okay, as we push this down, so I'm going to be using, I'm going to be tapping by the ear, the reason why just to release some of the tension. So especially with the ears, it kind of like makes the hair jump up a little bit. So if you see, I'm probably, I know it sounds a bit cheeky of me, but I'm gonna bring this all down. You see, because it's not necessarily a lot of hair that I have to cut. But remember, I will be gradual this anyway. So I'm gonna bring this all the way straight down. I'm going to kind of go with the way the hair falls. So this is this type of cutting that we do. We'll be doing this. Uh, we're also going to be offering um, a ladies cutting course, or and we already do, we already do a five day ladies cutting course. Uh, we can also do from an experienced therapist, we can do um, one or two days for more like being you know, creative work. Uh, we also will be launching the MVQ program, but it's going to be private, so we, it'll be um, about 12 weeks we will be doing the course. So. So you can see the line that I created going from shorter to slightly longer. So back in the day, as I assume, we used to call it an A line. All right, so you say like, like, like the shape of an A. So. Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Once again, we will be, okay, I will be working with, um, once again, diagonal sections. Yeah. Carlos Diaz says, I love the way you make it look so easy. Oh, thank you, Carlos Diaz. <laughs> um, I've done this a few times, I'm uh, not going to lie to you. Um, <laughs> I think in 34 years, I've done this a few times. Uh, and I think the thing is, I always still have to try my, my hardest. You know, it's like for me, I still love doing hair after all these years. Now to be able to share my knowledge with my um, students, you know, or all of you. I remember, you know, Carlos Diaz, I remember when you, 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 you were training, especially as a barber, doing your state board and so forth, you know. Uh, this was during the lockdown, and I used to watch the videos. Um, so yeah, so it's uh, never too, never too late to learn something new, and never, you know, and like, I think the thing, one of the things is, it's not keep on trying, you know, 
and say, keep on trying everything you do. I mean, even the other day, Jen did a two-day coloring course, you know? Um, and I think the thing is, it's when we, we're forever learning. I mean, uh, I'm constantly, constantly um, educating myself through, you know, of course, uh, online stuff. So I'm always doing something. Also, I'm, I'm always practicing on mannequins as well, as well as models. So you're forever doing things. You're forever, you know, you're forever trying different things. So you don't give up. You know, you can't give up during the middle of the haircut. You know? So now I'm going to continue. Now remember, over by the ear, I want to make sure I'm thoroughly combing it. Bringing this straight down. I'm going to very gently, there's a lot of tension there. So if you okay, I'm going to take, I'm probably going to split this into about two sections. The reason why I can get away with it because of the density of hair. Once again, this, this hair will have a bit of curl, so when when she doesn't blow dry it and just want to wear it natural, you know, it will have a bit of jump to it. So it's a okay. So but we did we did the smirk blue technique. So she's a little smirk up. So. Joanne Lane says I'm loving the colour. Oh cool. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a group effort I think. Uh, you know, like both myself and Jen, we were doing back-to-back -back photos. You will see the video uh, of this, so Jen will mix a video together. Um, but it was, it was a very, we did things, we had to do things very quickly, didn't we, Jen? Mm -hmm. So Jen, who won in the, uh, the speed contest putting foils in it? Mm, patch. No, patch, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I'm very good at foiling, I think, and very quick, so. I kicked Jen's butt. I mean, that doesn't take much with me. <laughs> like the slowest ever. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, for myself, like, I, I do love coloring. Uh, you know, for myself, and also working with mood hair color, which is absolutely brilliant. You know, absolutely love using mood hair color. Um, so what we had to do, we did back to back slices. So a uh, platinum card technique to even out the root area. We use six percent, or which is twenty volume, and of course we use the blue powder bleach, which is white. And then what happened was, then as we applied, uh, we left about a quarter inch, uh, a very small bit by the root. So we applied to the root area, at the, you know once we lifted the mid shaft area. Then after that. After that, what happened was we then, okay, we then um, washed it off, then we toned it uh, with 1071 with 5 volume or 1.5%. And then after that, then we applied the moon. Let, let, let me see if you guys can guess what color we did at the end. Yeah? <laughs> uh, we used the moon paint color, uh, blue. So, yeah, and, uh, but what we did was we actually added to give it a little bit more of like, uh, more, slightly bit more of um, like, you know, like a, like a smart color. We added a little bit of clear to it, just to kind of like just take a little bit of the edge off, so. Cool. All right, so what I'm doing is just moving this around here. So, moving this around. Um, I did choose to use a carbon material comb tonight. The reason why is I feel that sometimes it works better through bleached hair, um, especially if it gets a little bit uh, tangled. I'm oh, sorry, needs to be tangled, sorry. So once again, I'm just going to be applying the move leave-in conditioner spray to daily hair. Now what I'm now needing to do, so I will be adding some graduation to it. So let me start, I'll start on my left side here, why not, yeah? So it's not going to be aggressive, um, so it's not going to be a graduated bob, it will be a bob with graduation. So it's a bit of a difference there. So the reason why I'm doing this is because it will work with it either curly or straight. So. Uh, thank you, Jen. She's taking, taking away the evidence. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so as I move on here, now I will be working sections like so, working diagonal, and then what will happen, I will be elevating this and just taking this little bit off right here. So working inside my fingers, Making sure that I'm coming in from the roots, reach out to the ends. So going from a higher elevation gradually. Gradually getting lower. So then, again, like, yeah, depending on the way she wants to dress her, if she wants to style it curly, straight, um, and also with graduation, sometimes I don't want really to keep on soaking the hair with water. I kind of like with graduation, I want to let it dry on its own a little bit so I can see in how the shape's developing. Remember, graduation is the build-up of weight. So by, as I'm working at graduation, I want to give her hair a bit more, a bit more, something to it, a bit more width. While with the one length, I create a bit more depth. So I want to make her hair look thicker, but also with the graduation, I want to make it look a little bit wider. Because what happens is, now, I wouldn't necessarily say to her that she's going to have, if she asks for more body or height, I would say, unfortunately, that's not very, maybe, achievable with your density of hair. But what I can do is, I can create more width. And so that's a bit of a difference there. So that's a more achievable, and I can do that with graduation. So you see I'm working with inside, cutting the hair inside my fingers. So if you see that shape going from shoulder to lower, so I'm working with triangle graduation. So the shape is triangle, which is shorter to longer, but the technique is graduation. Ooh. Any questions there, Jen? No. No. Does anyone still want you? No one. Huh? No one. No one? Okay. <laughs> Check it. No, there's a few people watching. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah, so we have our new courses, which we have the ten week barbering course, which is you're going to receive an MVP qualification. So that would be from Tuesday through Friday. Um, and then we're only be hosting that at our Edinburgh location. So with that, um, once again, you know, not just receiving top quality education, but we'll also be teaching from Indian head massages to um, customer service, building up your clientele, um, you know, because in a way, you're building up your, your clientele is your own business. So really building that up, how to do, you know, photography with social media, and you know, doing everything from wet shading, beard designing, um, head shaves, long hair, fades, you name it, fold fades. So, you know, uh, really knowing about uh, customer care and also client, uh, also client retail and also product knowledge. So it's definitely going to be definitely um, kind of like a sort of after type of uh, education and we're able to do that private. So, now, just to show you the back, so I want you to kind of see the way that's holding. Okay, see the way that's, you see how the shape is developing here. So with that graduation, now I'm going to be doing the same thing on this side. So I will have to just do a light bit of spritz. Okay, so just to, just to keep it. Now, I use the leave-in conditioner spray because it's not heavy at all. So I don't want to, um, 
you don't want to, uh, what you call it, um, I don't want to weigh it down, but I still want to be able to condition the hair as we are doing the haircut. So, and once again, I'll be working still diagonal. So my hand position has changed. Going this way. Luba says hi from Luba in Blackpool. I'm sorry, who, who says hello? Hi from Luba in Blackpool. Oh, hello. You okay? The, um, in Blackpool. Oh, cool. I just had a student from uh, that area. Uh, his name is Woody. Uh, he did a brilliant job, 18 years old. And he was just up here doing um, um, foundation, five day foundation barbering course. Brilliant job for a young man. He was very, very passionate about it, you know. And continue. So you see my elevation will be coming here. Making sure that I come from the top. See, I am letting it kind of dry its own a little bit. You know, I really just want to see how that graduation is forming. So now, like I said, the sections will be going diagonal. You know, Jen, have you been to Blackpool? I haven't been to Blackpool yet. No, I haven't. I think that's where we're going to have to go on one of our holiday you know, adventures. I know they do a lot of um, dance competition. Yes, yeah. yeah, because one of my clients does them. And he always goes to Blackpool. Oh, okay. I think we might have to go there. I might have to, you might have to compete in a dance competition. <laughs> we know we'll be last. At least we'll be last today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna, as I'm moving up the head, so what happens is, You can see some of our curl poking out there. Okay, so as, remember, the higher you are on the head, the higher the elevation. The lower part you're on the head, the lower elevation. So what that means is, as I'm coming down, see, I'm decreasing my elevation. So we're still kind of continue over there. We're going to comb this back here. Up. And we should be on hair brains hopefully soon. I will be doing some clipper work, uh, show, showcasing the new Annis clippers. So I'm looking forward to that. Trying to get my model uh, sorted. Um, we'll be hopefully covering his hair as well uh, using our favorite old hair color. So there we go. So I'm just going to section this off here, going through here. Now, like I said, she can wear it. She can wear it all different ways. She wants to wear it curly or straight. You know, it's. It's all different, different fields. Yeah, it's gonna have a nice little shape there. Let me see if this is anything that's gonna come off. No, that's Why? It's just because I feel that like the curl, I want to get the, the curl will come back, 
I mean, we literally just pre-lightened it, you know, today. So I think I'm going to kind of just blue dry this a little bit smooth. Um, so, and then I'm going to, well, I'm going to add a little texturizing uh, products just to help give it a bit more oomph. So, and kind of a bit more street style, a bit more, you know, a bit more body in that aspect. So, for the products I'm going to be using to blow dry, I mean, you kind of see, it makes your eyes kind of pop up. Okay. So. <laughs> it looks so cool with red lipstick on. Yeah, and also you'll see I'm going to be really fine tuning everything when it's all dry. So the products that I'm going to be using, so of course I'm going to be using the Ultra Care uh, Restorative Mousse from Mood. So this is absolutely brilliant. And also I'm going to use a touch of the Keratin 2 and 1 cream. Now normally this is like a conditioner for like kind of, um, especially for strengthening or for longer hair, that's going to be a little bit hard to medium. I, like, I really like using this for, for siding, you know, for, for blow drying. And then you see, you can put just like a tiny bit afterwards for um, the finishing. So depending on what you're trying to achieve. Uh, because it's actually gorgeous here in Edinburgh, Scotland, with the weather, you know, you'll see I really want to try and protect this color from the heat and from the sun. So that's why it's like I'm using these products more like leave in treatments. So, we're now going to be using, like I said, the we're going to be using the restorative mousse. Once again, this is a beautiful, beautiful treatment. Uh, I use it for blow drying. You can use it for backwash area. It's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Nathan Jolly says hi. Oh, hello Nathan. Yeah, he's one of my partners starting at the barber shop. So, great to see you, Nathan. Um, really, I'm like, honestly, this kid is like absolutely brilliant. He's like so polite and like, like he's very, um, doesn't really like, he's, he's so like, I don't know, such like a natural and receptive to learning and education. So, I'm very, I'm so looking forward for him joining the team and everything. So. Um, I'm very excited, you know, I'm going to continue his education as well. And uh, yeah, so we are still looking for any barbers, any hairdressers, even educators to join us at our new location here in Edinburgh, Scotland. And guess what guys, it's not that far uh, to come up to Edinburgh, Scotland. It's either an hour on the flight from down south, or if you're coming from like Midlands area, it's three hours on the train if you go from direct to Northgate. So it's not far at all. So please, remember who you're talking to. I'm from, I'm from America, where easily we would drive five, eight hours and it's still in the same state. So please, it's not that far. Uh, you know, please, especially, I can guarantee my education. So definitely come and check us out. So we're gonna be having everything up on our new website, coming out uh, hopefully, <laughs> And uh, yeah, so let's see how that goes. What did you use, Sid? Um, what did I use? Mm -hmm. Okay, the two products that I used primarily was the Ultra Care Mousse, which is a restorative mousse, which is like a treatment mousse. And if you see, it looks like it looks like a little bit of a cream. Woo! Look crazy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. so, you. And then you use the two in one keratin. So it's a plant based keratin. So please, the, the products are vegan, which is like me. And then, so I get everyone. <laughs> I basically just got everyone with, with the, uh, the, the miracle with uh, So, yeah, I definitely love using this. So, even though you, you know, she can use it at home uh, when she rinses her hair and conditions it, uh, but for me, I love using it for actually styling. So, thank you, Jen. So, <laughs> all right, don't let anything go to waste. <laughs> so, all right, so what I'm gonna do, so literally you can see it, it's kind of like natural, like, you know, with the curl. I will, I will be blow drying it. I have a very strong feeling I need to kind of just blow dry it smooth today, just for, because the hair has been through kind of like, you know, with the, um, You've got like the nicest comment. What? 
So Ashley Aston says, if you're watching and get the chance to do one of Sid's courses, please do. They really are brilliant. I did an intensive course in Barbara and also went back for wet shaving and beard course. Both really informative. The team are very experienced, great at teaching, really help boost your confidence and really help polish skills to a very high standard. Aww. They offer real professional insights, brilliant technical help. And it just goes on saying... Um, that she gets a lot of comments about her good haircuts. And it's all down to Sid Sorting Academy and the skills I learnt and keep an eye on these tutorials too. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, what was the name again? Um, you said it quite, quite quick. Hayley, Hayley Aston. Oh, thank you, Hayley. Oh, thank you so much. I'm very grateful, very grateful for, for your kind words. I mean, the thing is, guys, we will always try our best. I mean, okay, I'm not perfect, okay, I'm a human being. But, you know, my mission today, especially in my life today, is to really help others and, you know, in, in comply, you know, the right education. Because right now, I know, it's, I know it's difficult because there's so many educators now. Um, at the moment, you know, every Tom, Dick, and Harry has been doing that, you know, offering education. But what we're trying to do, we actually been offering education for the long time. I mean, I've been teaching for 24 years, so I'm a bit old, and uh, yeah, so, so please come check us out, you know, and we are a BTCT, a BTCT approved training center, and also we're, we will be slowly going to be soon working with Kavya, so, and uh, yeah, so we, yeah, I'm always going to be, you know, proving myself, proving, you know, for my students, pushing my staff, you know, to do better and better because you know why? Our students are worth it. You know? We are worth it. You are worth it. So okay, so right now I'm just using um, I'm just using the blow dryer, especially I'm not going too uh, too hot with the heat. Once again, you know, it's just freshly three lines and colored. Now what I'll be doing as well, as you can see I'm using a flat brush. This is the best brush always in Japan. You can get these brushes not just at my academy when you come up to your course in Edinburgh, but you can also get these from your scissors. So you can also use my discount code. Please do not tell Colin. I'll get in trouble again. But you can use my discount code, which is SID10, and you get 10% off. So just don't tell Colin though, okay? So I don't want to get mad at me again. Well, first thing you mean. <laughs> okay, Just so imagine Colin hitting you. I, I love Colin. I hope he's watching. So right now, guys, so if you see, I'm just working this through. But look at the shine that's coming out. It's a uh, beautiful shine. I will probably going to be using the straightening bar. I'll try to put the pair of straighteners. So I'm going through. I, mean, I love this like, smurf blue color. It's absolutely great. I actually do love this. So, so again, we'll give you a few to me the moon sea salt spray and also serum, please. It will be at uh, the bottom. Yeah, thank you. So I'm still working with flat wrapping with the hair. We're going around. We really just want to see. You'll see, I will be working with um, the hair straighteners. I do want to smooth it out. I'm not going to be going too crazy. Um, with the um, with the blow dryer and the tension here, I kind of just want to really. I don't want to go like even though know, the hair has been fully protected. I don't want to be creating too much heat, uh, too much straightening, and uh, yeah. So, so it's beautiful hair to work with. I'm really enjoying the color, and uh, it's really a lot of fun to play around with. So these these type of looks definitely, especially. Um, what I've noticed was in, you know, throughout the years, we kind of lost a lot of uh, the art of hair cutting, you know, due to all the hair coloring techniques, you know, all the free hands. And so, like, of course, the thing is, what happens is, when we see these colors, you know, it has to be done on long hair or, you know, a blank canvas or a long cloud canvas. So then what happens is, when you look on the Instagram pictures of their guests and their clients, it's all the same thing, you just show the back picture of these clients. 
And for me, you know, maybe I'm thinking, I'm like, oh my God, how ugly are you? You're doing this, you know? You know, what's, or isn't hair color based on the haircut to work off the haircut and also work off your fine skin tone? Now, I chose to do more like a blue with my dad because the reason why she has cooler toned skin. Now, if she has more skin, I probably necessarily wouldn't do so. So really, guys, they really work with your client's skin tone and also lifestyle, um, also the condition of the hair. You know, there's a lot to go to go for or go through. So, yeah. well, those are just my thoughts. So, call me crazy. I'm not trying to be rude. I just, I just feel, yeah, we need to change what's happening in the industry. I'm, I, I like, I'm a bit more old school about things, so. Cool. Any questions there, Jen? No, no questions. No? Okay, is anyone still watching? Yep. Oh, cool. I'm just going to speed up my blow dryer a little bit so I can get this. Okay, let's so look at that shine. That shine's amazing.
So it's my little trick. I love using serum in hair when I iron it. It just gives it a glossy finish and also gives that added protection to the hair, especially the Mood Serum, which is extraordinarily lightweight, extraordinarily shiny, and great for coloring hair. Any questions? Anything no, else? no questions. Yeah, anything yeah. Oh, cool. So, so moving along. Okay, about the same. So I'm really just nailing this out quick, guys. So I don't. I know you guys are having probably your, your tea or supper right now. So I want to make sure that this is done quickly for you. But I love the blue, though. Honestly, is everyone digging the blue? Let us know in the comment section. Are they liking it? Yeah. No comments yet. No comments yet. No. Oh my god. What's wrong with these people? Cool. I'm moving along here. I will have to turn her around just because my cord and my Arms are not going to reach. So, yeah. it's like a nice, I think I almost said it's a lot more healthier. Um, which I think that's one of the key important, you know, key important factors is I want to, I want her to have healthy hair. You know, healthy hair, you know, happy clients, you know, it's just like... So sometimes it's like we have to be really honest with the client, you know? And also like, but by promoting honesty to your guests, it's just that what happens is, it's like then they begin to really trust you, you know? Like, you know, no fairness, you know, I said that, listen, I'm just trying my best to try and salvage as much money for you as possible, but your ends are a little bit, you know, knackered. She's like, listen, I trust you. And that's what we actually want, you know, to hear from our guests. You know, we want to hear that, like, listen, they trust you. I'm not saying for you to just be, you know, become a madman and just, like, kind of hold the hair, like, you know, go crazy. No, 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 no. You know, just do your best as a professional, you know. Be the professional for your guests, you know. Then they want to keep on coming back to you, and they don't want anyone else doing that hair except you. So the main focus that we want is the returning client. Okay. Some of us can come back to us and really focus on, you know, um, you know that, you know, because that's the thing is, it's like this is our business, this is your business. Cool. Move along. There we go. And then you'll see afterwards. I'm going to be just going to refine it a little bit more. And then I will then, I'm um, going to be refining it, and then I'm also going to just use a little sea salt spray just to give it a little bit of, mm, a bit jazzing up, you might say. And just kind of like, kind of dirty up in a good way. Now guys, I mean, definitely check out, uh, like I said, the new courses will be on our website hopefully next week, hopefully. But you can also message us here on Facebook or our Instagram page, which is Sid Salton Academy. And please, you know, we are, if you have any questions, you can also contact us. We had to get a new, uh, a new email address for contact because the server, it was just, oh, we went kaputi with our old email address. So you can reach us at Salton Academy uh, at gmail.com. I think with the Gmail, sort of like strong and uh, I've never had any issues with cheating, but the, this one we had, it was just like, I was sending emails and they kept them coming back to me, so it was just a bit, a uh, bit dodgy, so I do apologize, and now I have a backlog of emails to go through, so. You like it, Jen? Yeah, yeah. You might have Jen's approval? Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm just touching up these areas here. Like I said, this was mood color. 
which was um, Moon Paint Color, which is a direct dye. And we also added something to help with any stainage, which was the Color Assist. So I think if anyone knows me, Color Assist is like my favorite product in the world, because it really helps the industry in there. And also just kind of like, um, really kind of prevent any stainage and everything. I mean, even let's just take a look at her beautiful eye color as well. So, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's like a, a very light gray, so the blue is just like making it pop. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just elevate this here. If you see what I'm doing, is I'm actually also elevating my hands and my fingers. And I'm kind of doing this like a, like a barbering technique, such as scissor combing. So it just helps us give more of like a fluid type of movement to the graduation. Bring this back and up. And you also have to make the most of it. If you see, I'm not doing any point cutting. I don't think it's really necessary. So that means point cutting is one we just use in the very tips of our scissors. So do this all club cutting. So you can see, I mean, I think just you can see just help giving that body to the hair a little bit of bounce, you know. And that's how we do it with graduation. But we also, the graduation will create the width, and then the long length will create the depth. Okay, so I'm just finishing this up here, and then what I'm going to do is I will be going back over um, the perimeter. Just, you see, just going over. So when she wants to wear, you know, uh, curly, straight, whatever, you know, she can, you know, it's, uh, and if she wants to juice it up, you know, she can wave it, she can, um, you know, even doing that like little wet looks, like it back, very, very 90s, you know, uh, or actually very late 80s, you know, if you think about, you know, Cindy, what was it? Um, what was it? It was from that, uh, that video, uh, oh, come on out. Is it irresistible? You know that, that song back in the 80s? Uh, that was great because, you know, it was very like, you know, you had uh, Robert Palmer, that's who it was. He was singing and he had, he had like four or five models in the background dressed in like skirts and tuxedos and his slick back, gel black hair. It was really striking. These models were absolutely brilliant. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. Okay, so after I put that shape in there, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to be using a, like a very light mist of sea salt spray from Mood. Now, this is still the old packaging, so just to let you know, so we are actually working on um, I'm getting the prototype sent to me in Edinburgh, Scotland, so myself and various educators from the Mood UK team will be testing the product. Uh, some new ideas coming out from Mood, and that will hopefully be coming out later this year in the new Scotland launch. So here what I like to do is like like mist and one minute I'm just gonna kind of like this sort of like this fist it, scrunch it here. So just really giving it a bit of like you know nothing crazy. So 
that will skip up nice and natural volume. Now what will happen is, especially with the actual kind of like feeling of, um, especially with the warm weather, you know, I want like I don't want my hair to feel too sticky. So that's why I'm using a bit of sea salt spray. And the mood sea salt spray is it was lovely. I mean it just you know, I'll just use it a little bit. You can also put it in your hands. Okay, and then really Simon Evans says that Addicted to Love is the Robert Palmer song. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And the Luba Schenker says that um, she looks stunning. She looks stunning. Stunning. Oh, stunning! Yeah, she she does look amazing. You know, I think it's once again just really working with your client's bone structure, your guest's bone structure, their natural hair texture, um, and also for coloring, their their skin tone. So it's not just about. I'm just looking through the mirror. I've seen that shape that. I'm just having a bit of fun with him instead of like, like work with your, your the natural guests, you know, texture, you know. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> Shake it out with me. Woo! Alright then, so just a bit of fun, a nice little cheeky little bob length, but working with um, one length and graduation, and of course this beautiful smart color from Moody Hair Color. So yeah. <laughs> Alright everyone, so yes, we're addicted to love tonight, yeah? <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so if there's any last minute questions or anything? I have no question, Katrina saying stunning results as always, Sid. Thank you both. Uh, thank you very much, Katrina. I wish uh, hopefully some of your learners will be watching today. If not, don't worry. We will save this video, so it will be here on our page. All right. And also, I'm sure Jennifer will be doing a lovely little video mix. Yes. Uh, real. Do you remember to take a video at the end? Yes, we we'll do. Usually right forget. Yeah, I <laughs> All right, everyone. So thank you very much for tuning in tonight, and thank you so much for being a gorgeous model. And I hope you love your hair. And a big thank you to Mood Hair Color for, so for creating such beautiful hair color for us. And uh, yeah, so we'll hopefully see you again. And like I said, my next video, my live video, will hopefully be for Hair Brains, uh, which is an amazing educational platform. We'll be on their Facebook page, so I guess it might be later this week. And then uh, we'll be doing an, hopefully another live video it might be at our new academy. You never know. So yeah, if not, we'll probably do one more here, especially with my lovely Jennifer, being an amazing camera lady, colorist, everyone, big inspiration. So thank you, Jen, for being here tonight. And a big thank you to Patch for being a guard dog and the inspiration tonight. He's and just working up. <laughs> yeah. All right then, everyone. Have a great night, wherever you are in the world. And yeah, I will hopefully see you soon.